Today we're going to do something new and this is all about fundamental needs of human beings. When you say fundamental, it means basic or uh, most important or without these things, it is hard for human beings to survive. So I'm going to ask you some questions and I need you to prepare some paper strips there and as I ask the questions, I want you to write down the answers to my questions. Okay, your answers to my questions. If writing is so di difficult for you, maybe you can ask somebody who is with you to write it down for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, my first question is, what did you have for breakfast? Me, in my case, I had egg and rice. So I'm going to write down egg and rice. So I have said that I like rice and eggs, so I'm going to write that down. Rice So you have your answer written down. The next question is, what kind of transportation does your father use or mother use whenever he or she goes to work? Do they use a motorcycle or a car or a multicab or a tricycad? Well, in my case, I use a tricycad, so I'm going to write it down. Next question is, what kind of housing do you live in? Do you live in a concrete house? Or do you live in a wooden house? Do you live in an apartment? So, what's your answer? You may write it down now. In my case, I live in a concrete and wooden house. So I'm going to write that down. Uh, I live in a concrete and wooden house. I'll write it down. Well, get the tape for that. Okay, the next question is, now that the rainy season is here, we have to wear something to protect ourselves when it becomes cold because there are really cold days. And what do you wear to um, keep yourself warm and protect yourself from getting sick? What is that kind of clothing you wear? Now, the next question is, what do you apply on your skin if you go swimming at the beach and you don't want to get sunburned? So what is that kind of lotion that you apply in your whole body to protect yourself from the heat of the sun? Can you write it down? Okay, the next question is, what kind of clothing do you usually wear whenever you come to school? it down. Next question is every week you probably might go to a kind of place where you pray and you listen to a leader who talks about how to be a good human being. What kind of special place do you go to to pray okay so our last question is what is it that your mother or your aunt or your grandma wear on her ears to make herself feel good or maybe she wears it on her fingers 
or her neck? What is it? What is that piece of jewelry that she wears to make herself feel good? Can you write it down? In my case, I really feel good when I wear earrings. So I'm going to write that down, earrings. So now I've got all my answers to the questions written down. And I know you have written down your answers too. Look what you have here. This one is called the fundamental human needs chart. So as I've said, fundamental means most basic. Uh, most important needs of all human beings so all human beings from the very beginning of time the earliest human beings and up to the present time and in the future all these human beings need all these things in order for them to survive without these things it's difficult for them to survive so, on our chart, we can see two most basic needs here. We have material and we have spiritual. So, for the material needs, these are things that we can feel with our hands. You can touch them. You can see them with your eyes. And for the spiritual needs, you cannot see them or touch them, but you can feel them in your heart. Let's take a closer look at the material needs. So clothing here. And clothing could be made of animal substances, like for example, leather, which is the covering, the skin covering of animals. And then it could be made of hair, like the fur and wool, hair of the sheep. Then for here, it could be tanned skin and feathers and textile fibers. So for clothing, it could also be from vegetable substances like linen and cotton. And then for nourishment, your nourishment to your body could be made of animal substances or mineral substances or vegetable substances and for defense could be made of iron gunpowder stone wood to protect yourself but even sunscreen or sunblock lotion is another kind of protection okay from the heat of the sun for example transportation could be made of lumber like the uh, old ships before or even now we still have boats made of lumber and wood could be transportation could be animals too don't you know that look at the camel transportation we use petroleum too for transportation our different kinds of vehicles won't run without petroleum and of course transportation could be made of steel like trains for housing housing could be made of lumber stone and brick and steel now it's time for me to place where each of my answer would go on the chart and you can do the same thing too with your own answers and the chart that we have given you maybe you can make your answers a little bit small because the chart that you have is a little bit small too anyway let's continue so i go to school by tricycad Sometimes Mr. Gids takes me to school in a motorcycle, but for now, I want to write tricycle. Transportation is right here, so I'm going to put it here. Next, concrete and wooden. So, our house is made of concrete and wooden. It's a housing human need, fundamental human need. Sunblock. I use sunblock to protect my skin. It's a kind of defense from the heat of the sun. Defense is right there. Rice and egg. Yum, yum. So, it's a kind of nourishment from my body. That's my breakfast. Nourishment is right there. So, I'll put it. could be here or I'll just put it there. Okay. 
Next, I have jacket. I use this to protect myself when it's really, really cold. It's a covering for my body. So it's clothing, okay? It's for my body. It's a covering for my body. I'll put, put it here. Clothing. And earrings. Oops, I don't want to cover that. Earrings. It's a kind of vanity. It makes myself feel good. And vanity is right there. Spiritual need. Okay, so that's my fundamental human needs chart. And you can make your own at home. So now you can make your own fundamental needs of human beings by writing down the labels. Or you can also make your own chart or your own booklet. Uh, you can cut out pictures from your newspaper or any pictures you can find at home. Just collect some pictures, maybe five pictures to ten, and then put it on a bond paper or a booklet and then label it. So for example, you have a picture of a mango, then stick it on your charter booklet and then write down food. If you have a picture of a car, write down transportation. Okay? So and then make sure that you have your title for your chart. You can say fundamental needs of human beings. So this is chart one. And after this, I have another chart to show you. And it is chart two. So that's it for today.